From a struggling plane in Frankfurt, Germany that couldn't get off the runway, and an Indian Air Force pilot who was forced to dump his fuel and training bombs, to a Colombian cargo plane that crashed thanks to an outdated flight manual, and much more. Here are the craziest plane takeoff failures caught on camera. The HMS Queen Elizabeth is the lead aircraft carrier in the English Royal Navy. In November of 2021, the Queen was stationed in the Mediterranean Sea. A pilot prepared for takeoff in a 100 million pound F-35 fighter jet. He hit the gas and aimed for the ramp. Unfortunately, he never got the bird up to speed. There's an old English military saying, lift is a gift, thrust is a must. This poor boy simply had no thrust. Thankfully, he ejected and deployed his parachute before sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Ejector seats are a pilot's last line of defense when their planes malfunction. Just ask this old school American pilot flying a Grumman A6 intruder. He had to bail out of his attack plane when something went wrong with the engine. Control kept screaming at him to climb, but there was nothing he could do. Eventually, climb, climb, climb turned into eject, eject, eject. He and his co-pilot shot out sideways and landed safely in the ocean. According to the pilot, the g-force from the ejection caused severe spinal compression. He was an inch shorter when they pulled him out of the water. Now you're bound to hit a few birds when flying massive airplanes through the sky. According to the FAA, over 10,000 birds are struck each year by planes. That's about 26 per day. On New Year's Eve of 2011, Southwest Flight 3702 prepared for takeoff at Portland International Airport, or PDX. The passengers and crew were en route to Oakland, California, around 12.30. Shortly after takeoff, a pair of birds flew past the plane. One got sucked into the right engine. There was no stopping the takeoff process at that point. He had to take the plane up, turn it around, and land safely back at PDX. Thankfully, the plane didn't require any emergency assistance, and it taxied back to the gate. Nobody was injured, but the bird strike did cause some minor damage to the right wing. The flight was rescheduled to depart at 6 p.m. that night. Some passengers made other accommodations, while about a hundred others stuck it out. The Indian Air Force is a crucial branch of the Indian Armed Forces. They patrol the skies and defend India during times of armed conflict. The IAF was formed as a part of the English Air Force during World War II. They've been operating on their own since declaring independence from the UK in 1947. On June 28th of 2019, an IAF pilot took off in a Jaguar fighter jet at the Ambala Air Base in northern India. The plane carried two extra fuel tanks and a payload of practice bombs. Then, shortly after takeoff, his bomb training turned into an emergency landing scenario. The Jaguar speeds down the runway as it nears takeoff speed. Our pilot lifts off the ground and begins his climb. Then, seconds later, he intersects with a flock of birds, knocking out one of his engines. Knowing he needs to make an emergency landing, the pilot jettisons the fuel tanks and practice bombs. They hit the ground and exploded in the airbase below. Our pilot landed safely on one good engine thanks to the decreased weight. Thankfully, nobody was hurt when he jettisoned the fuel and bombs. One of the tanks did land in a residential area, but nobody was around when it crashed. December 20th of 2016 is a day Puerto Carreño, Colombia will never forget. Around 5 p.m. local time, Aero Sucre Flight 157 took off from the Sherman Olano Airport en route to El Dorado International Airport in Bogota. 
The cargo plane, a Boeing 727, was loaded with about 20,000 pounds of cargo and six crew members. Catastrophe struck during takeoff, and the plane overran the runway. It tore through the airport's perimeter fence and passed over a group of plane spotters on the other side. They watched and recorded as the pilots desperately tried to regain control. Sadly, they were fighting a losing battle. The plane had already lost its number three engine, all of its hydraulic systems, and part of the landing gear. They glided over the ground for two harrowing minutes. The plane clipped a tree and a sentry box before rolling to the right and crashing into the ground. An investigation uncovered failures at every level. Firstly, the airport was too small for a Boeing 727. Next, the pilots made several preventable errors, beginning with poor takeoff procedures. Finally, they failed to activate a crucial backup system that could have saved them when things fell apart. But the most egregious failure may have been Iro Sucre's fault. In a nutshell, they modified the plane to take off at slower speeds. This makes it more fuel efficient and saves money. However, they never updated the flight manual. So, when our pilots readied the plane, they set their takeoff speed to five knots faster than necessary. Clearly, five knots meant the difference between a safe flight and a tragic crash. On October 9th of 2014, a Boeing 757 was preparing for takeoff at Frankfurt International Airport in Germany. A passenger seated near the right engine decided to record as the plane kicked into high gear. They began speeding down the runway when our cameraman witnessed something terrifying. Thankfully, the plane was going slow enough to stop and abort the takeoff. It shut down in the middle of the runway, and firefighters raced out to inspect the damage. Two rotor blades were in bad shape, rendering the plane unflyable. Thankfully, everybody on board was okay and hopped on a different plane a few hours later. On January 15th of 2009, U.S. Airways Flight 1549 took off from LaGuardia Airport in New York City. It was en route to Charlotte, North Carolina, with two pilots, three flight attendants, and 150 passengers. From there, the Airbus A320 was supposed to fly to Seattle, Washington. Unfortunately, it never made it out of the Hudson Bay area. The pilot in command was 57-year-old Chesley Sully Sullenberger. He was a former fighter pilot in the U.S. Air Force. After retiring from active duty, he turned to commercial airlines. By January of 2009, Captain Sully had logged nearly 20,000 hours of flight time. You could say he'd seen it all in his long career. A flock of birds shouldn't have been an issue. Shortly after takeoff, Flight 1549 struck a flock of Canadian geese at about 2,800 feet in the air. Feathers and bird bits covered the windshield. Meanwhile, passengers heard rumbling in the engines. Some even saw flames. The engines stalled and the plane began falling. Sully radioed for help, saying they had lost power in both engines. Air traffic control told him to return to the LaGuardia runway, but that was impossible. Then they suggested New Jersey, but Sully knew he wouldn't make it. The safest option was to put her down in the Hudson River. ATC watched the plane glide about 900 feet over the George Washington Bridge before landing in the Hudson. Two ferries arrived within minutes and evacuated everyone to safety. It was a miracle the plane didn't break apart and sink on impact. For their heroism, Captain Sully and his crew received the Master's Medal for Outstanding Aviation Achievement. They got a standing ovation at Super Bowl 43 and were inducted into the International Air and Space Hall of Fame. Clint Eastwood's film Sully came out in 2016, with Tom Hanks as the now world-famous pilot. Frankfurt Airport is the busiest airport in Germany based on passenger traffic. It's also the busiest airport in Europe regarding cargo. It features four runways with two passenger terminals. 
In total, it can serve up to 65 million flyers each year. On July 3rd of 2016, Royal Air Maroc Flight AT811 was heading from Frankfurt to Casablanca, Morocco, when the pilot had a little trouble taking off. The plane taxied to the runway and hit the gas. But even as they neared the end of the 13,000-foot tarmac, the pilot still couldn't get her up. Thankfully, the pilot achieved enough lift and got the plane airborne. They continued to Morocco without any further incident. According to an internal report, the crew rotated at too low a speed but controlled the pitch to avoid a tail strike. They weren't sure why the aircraft rotated before reaching sufficient airspeed for climbing. As the video went viral online, Royal Air Maroc wanted to clear the air on some misinformation. In a five-part tweet translated from French to English, they said the ATC tower warned the pilot of a possible turbulence wake coming off a landing A330. As a result, the captain maneuvered to accelerate and achieve speeds which permitted safe takeoff. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another, then click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.